Hello everyone. I will present myself. I'm uh, Nasima. I'm a postdoc researcher at uh, Chemical Engineering Department and the uh, FSN uh, Research Center. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about cellulose nanocrystals uh, as a potential agent for packaging material. Uh, cellulose nanocrystals are nanomaterials that uh, are so trendy nowadays and uh, this is not just because of the of their uh, biodegradability sorry and uh, and uh, their eco-friendly behavior it's uh, because of their uh, uh, excellent um, physical chemical properties but before going to to uh, to the cellulose nanocrystals i will start with the cellulose Cellulose is uh, known as the most abundant uh, naturally occurring biopolymer. It's um, it's polysaccharide uh, uh, containing uh, an anhydroglycose units, which uh, which um, give cellulose. Uh, this uh, biodegradable and sustainable low cost uh, materials is uh, struct is. Uh, structural and confers its mechanical properties to the plant cells. From this cellulose, we can extract nanocellulose, which is also a natural sustainable nanomaterial that exists in different forms and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, occur different properties and that according to, to the processing methods. So there is uh, three main uh, uh, method to extract nanocellulose or cellulose nanocrystals. So we start with the mechanical and enzymatic uh, process which gives microfibrillated cellulose and the uh, nanofibrillated cellulose. So it goes from micron uh, in length and the uh, nano nanometers or uh, micrometers in diameter. Uh, bacterial cellulose and the third one is uh, the chemical process via uh, hydrolysis acid using different acid like sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, hydrochloric acid, citric acid and some mix mixture of acid to obtain cellulose nanocrystals. So. Uh, the motivation of using cellulose nanocrystals nowadays and uh, even before 20 uh, years, I think, uh, it's because of their properties as uh, morphology, nanodimension, nano uh, high crystallinity uh, that confers high mechanical properties also, uh, uh, high surface area, colloidal stability, biodegradability, and the active surface for chemical modification that uh, can be used in a different uh, application. So the uh, cellulose nanocrystals can be used in different application as uh, electronics, packaging, painting and coating, tissue engineering, nanocomposite and bio nanocomposites. So uh, as a team, uh, we are actively uh, focused on uh, on um, uh, on producing cellulose nanocrystals based bio nanocomposite for packaging material. So we are extracting uh, cellulose nanocrystal from different uh, resources, but the main uh, resource that we are using is the cellulose pulp. So uh, first, we uh, we uh, we have been uh, extracting cellulose nanocrystals then that that have a road like shape and the average length is about uh, 180 nanometer in length and uh, from 8 to 10 in uh, in diameter uh, those cellulose nanocrystals are uh, colloidally stable and we can check that with the zeta potential that gives uh, minus 61 uh, millivolt and uh, also have a high uh, degree of crystallinity which, which is checked with the XRG or Raman. 
Uh, after extracting those cellulose nanocrystals, uh, the aim is uh, using it as a reinforcing agent in, uh, uh, to reinforce different uh, biopolymers or mixture of biopolymers. Uh, as uh, polyvinyl alcohol, carboxymethyl cellulose, uh, starch, and uh, others. So here uh, we uh, check the mechanical properties after uh, 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 the mechanical properties of the of the biopolymers after um, adding the cellulose nanocrystals. So as you can see, the mechanical properties increased as the content of CNC increased. Uh, we also checked the, trans, uh, the transparency and also the barrier properties of those uh, films. And uh, obviously the, the transparency of the film is the same, even after uh, um, including CNC. And the barrier properties are uh, enhanced after uh, uh, also increasing the CNC content. Another, uh, another focus of the group is using dissolved cellulose uh, uh, in um, alkali solvent. So what, what we've been trying to do is uh, reinforcing this dissolved cellulose with the CNC. So uh, a surface modification has been uh, attempted first, then uh, in, uh, uh, adding those modified CNC to the dissolved cellulose. So the, the mechanical properties ha has been increased and uh, we can see that uh, the crystallinity also of the films uh, has been also increased after uh, Raman characterization. Uh, one of the trendiest also uh, used nanomaterial is the hybrid hybrid nanocharge. So uh, we try to mix the CNC with the graphene oxide nanosheets and uh, using it as a nano hybrid. Uh, nanocharge in polymer to have uh, uh, bio nano composite films so uh, what we obtained so far is uh, uh, is a film with enhanced mechanical properties so the method used is the evaporation evaporation casting method and thank you for your attention Thank you, Nasima. Do you have any questions? Yes. If you could go back to the slide with the barrier. Yeah. I was maybe too slow, but did that you one. check both uh, water and vapor and Just fat and? Uh, water vapor, vapor water. Okay. I'm sorry. It's no. It's just uh, well. It, it's uh, actually it's a schema to show how the it's like the the oxygen or water or uh, any gas is going through the neat polymer before adding the CNC. And the next uh, the yeah the next uh, uh, image I is uh, to show the torches pathway that CNC form. Uh, in um, in the polymer uh, after um, to stop the the oxygen uh, diffusion. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, what was the humidity? I think uh, I think fifteen percent relative hum humidity. I think y you didn't check at eighty. Or I'm sorry. At eighty percent. Did you check at eighty also? Uh, no, uh. I didn't. I just fixed at fifteen percent. I think. Oh, okay. What you remembered? Okay. 
Mm. Uh, it's a common because you know when you increase uh, se- the structure of cell abuse by chemdraw, uh, it's dangerous because <laughs> you don't have cellulose anymore there. You don't have cellulose on the structure as a chemist. So, sorry, so you know that uh, it's dangerous when you increase something. It's because the angles of the atoms are r- becomes another molecule. So, <laughs> so you bear in mind. I didn't get your no because you comment. have either axial position or equatorial ah, okay, on yeah, the sugars, ah, but you ah. it, when you increase, I don't know, it's, it's changed. It's just uh, it's so like n- representing the the structure. Yeah. Cool. yeah.